How to Get Away with Murder. Uh, this show twists, turns, every moment seems something new. Uh, how did you guys feel about the first, uh, about the second season and kind of where it went? It was pretty remarkable and exciting. I think we were really excited that we got to dive into the backstory of these people and how they all came together and um, and it was very, uh, it was a lot, a lot happened. Yeah, no, it, was, uh, <laughs> it, it was intense and I think the second half of that season when we sort of uh, took a step back and looked at the characters we're dealing with and, right. and, and looked into their past a bit. I think I think things really took off and I think it, it took the show in a really cool direction. And stuff that we, I, I mean, I didn't necessarily expect to learn about Frank, about the history that the group has gone through even before the students came into play, obviously. Yeah. 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 Uh, speaking about Frank, I mean, <laughs> what... You know, how soon might we see him again? Because uh, obviously, this is uh, I. You know, it's we, a big question. We, question. That is the question, question and, and uh, <laughs> we we shall see. Uh, but I, I would imagine uh, we're going to need to deal with that uh, quickly. Pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, for you playing him and and now finding out maybe just how bad he is or has been at points at least. Yeah. Um, what's that mean to you as an actor playing this guy that he, obviously he's not all bad. No, not at all. In fact, he has he has there's a big heart in all there. Uh, he is he he's a, just a, a complicated damaged person who is trying to do right by the people he loves and that's Annalise and Bonnie and and that's his family and formerly Sam uh, is someone that was a huge part of his life and he you know, he sort of died that day mm -hmm. when he was responsible for, for what happened to Annalise. And and so everything he does now is to service her and whatever she may need. And, and a lot of times that's on the wrong side of the law. And right. over time, he's not only okay with it, but he's good at it. And it gives him value. And it's just sort of spread wings. And now he's this monster. Right. And, I mean... With a big heart. With a big heart. I mean, I think Big Heart is almost... Do you guys think that's part of the show? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, there has I, to be. It's, I it's not just a... Yeah. The beauty of the show is that there is a huge heartbeat these are, behind these are, it. These, yeah. are, these are real people. Yeah. Right. And yes, bad things are happening, but they're real people trying, trying right. to get through life. And I guess for both of you, in terms of, you know, playing against this cast working together and everything you know what do you guys think of, of moment to moment how their interactions are going so far it's pretty dreamy i mean it's a really remarkable group that that has been assembled uh and i think that we are always uh marveling at our great fortune and yeah, being able to be brought together i mean we're an extremely close-knit cast um everybody is immensely talented that's it's um, shocking it's, shockingly so yeah everyone's very talented and and everyone cares and that's why i think we've become such a tight group right yeah. so it's been a joy and and to see how the story develops and you know we're i think we're, we're always being challenged and what what ends up coming up in stories is beyond our wildest dreams and people can do it everybody is executing it beautifully and um it's just a lovely thing to be a part of we're really very happy fortunate. people happy <laughs> What do you think of her her arc over the second season? It's we've surprises abound with every character, but I think she's particularly had maybe it's more a pretty big surprise. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I mean it was it was really great to be able to uh, to find out what has informed so much of Bonnie and and certainly how she and Annalise came together. And um, I think we're really going to be able to do more of that. And I think. Um, it's been lovely, I think, the way that Pete has been so smart about sort of gradually unraveling those those stories um, is that he waits until people really want to know, and, and until you're in, invested in these people and, and hungry for it. Right. Um, and I think that that's why it, it gets such a good response. Um, and now I think we get to keep doing that and make it more character-driven, and um, I think that'll be a really good... Uh, season three, man. <laughs> <laughs> and it does kind of feel like we're unspooling them. I, I think that's yeah. a great way of looking at it because it's so gradual and just uh -huh. bit by bit. And it, it almost seems to 
some shows almost squander how much backstory mm -hmm. they might have early on, whereas you guys have, the show has taken little bits. real... Breadcrumbs. Like, yeah, breadcrumbs. Yeah, breadcrumbs, yeah. yeah. breadcrumbs for mm -hmm. sure. Is that fun to play off? It, yeah. Although, does it make you invent a fair bit, though, too, because you don't necessarily know? Yes, but we're allowed to invent, which yeah, is also another, yeah, a great part a, of the yeah, job. That's a whole other thing, yeah. you know, it, going back to just how everyone is so talented. I mean, certainly, you know, we're, we're talking as actors, but, but then we have Pete, and right. we have this, the captain of our ship who's immensely talented, but also lets us play and lets us mm. voice our, our ideas to him, and, and it's, it's sort of collaborative in a way, and that's, right. it, that's a whole other dimension of why it's such a special, special show. Yeah. Have you guys taken much... Uh, thought or looked at much of what the fans are saying because there's always so many speculations and, I, yeah and I, can, I can only imagine I, I don't think i could ever sit through all the uh the yeah theories that people have. we are trying to keep our we're own trying to, speculations we're trying to at bay yeah. yeah i mean we are really talking about the show a lot as as cast members we do we I mean, sit around we, talking about yeah. the show sure. yeah. about each other's okay. character and what we think might well, happen cool. and our theory of who did what but then we realize why are we because investing we no time <laughs> doing this it's <laughs> gonna just, i mean it's never gonna be what we think it is yeah that's kind of cool, though. I mean, the yeah. fact that you guys actually do talk about because not you know sometimes oh, it's just you you kind of take a step back, I guess, if you don't know where it's going. But yeah, I don't know. no, it's, it's cornering writers. Yeah, a group of us will corner a writer. And just <laughs> rabid just, animals. Just, you know, like, yeah, it <laughs> truly in fear of what's yeah. in front of them. Do you have hopes for the third season? Something that you're looking for, either for the show as a whole or for your characters? I mean. Simply, I'm so glad that we just get to go back and, and make more. So, you know, I think whatever Pete has in store is going to be pretty great and exciting. And I, I do think that he's um, really excited about learning more about these characters. So I do think it w it's going to be character driven. And I think, you know, the disappearance of Frank is going to be something that we're really going to be able to explore. And that's very exciting it, to me. I, and, exciting yeah. to me because it could go anywhere. We could do anything. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and do you sometimes working on the show does it uh, do you, do you uh, I guess do you have to get into the kind of mood from moment to moment just because it's it's dark I mean it's yeah. it's, it's usually quite dark it's a dark show do you, is, yeah. does it just come naturally do you just step out and you're in the characters or do you actually build up to that it, it does depend and, and, and some scenes you know, it has a dark tone, and, and so you sort of, I find myself in a certain place in general, but sometimes it, 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 yeah. in a specific scene, yeah, you have to kind of find a very dark place. I think right. the longer we get to do it, it becomes easier. But again, you know, right. we're Which, at the place yeah. now, you know, Frank we is know these in my people bones, pretty well. I, I, can, I really can, I feel like I can access him at any point in time. Hmm. Yeah, and we've been able to actually play the the history now like we we know it right. so it's, so it's a lot of, there's a lot there the, the story always seems to make sense the context of what has happened is, is easier to access i think i certainly love when the the grim sense of humor does jump in yeah the you need it that little levity. Is, yes yeah. levity is levity is key, key. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun to watch is it what happens backstage like, do you guys just chum around i, I think yeah. 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 yeah 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 people take care of each other and um we're laughing and and we're all the things. I mean, we're yeah, very we serious, but but we're we're trying to keep we it need light. To be. We try to mm -hmm. like draw it back and save that for those moments and sort of enjoy uh, enjoy what's happening all around us. Cool. Well, thank you guys very much. Pleasure chatting. Thank you. Absolutely.